Dave Mazza, what's going on? <laughs> hey, thanks for having me back. Good to a see you. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing, Dave. But, you know, when markets opened, I mean, this is expected. I guess we're going to get some cabinet picks. But, you know, it, there was plenty of people like you know, we were live on the air and bang, the market goes up. It's like, OK, what's going on here? Well, guess what? You know, uh, the market uh, sees someone that uh, they used to, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you, you hit the nail on the head. I think w w the interesting thing this year is about lack of clarity, lack of certainty, for good reason, right? Uh, whether it's a virus, you know, our ability to, to battle it, vaccines, but when it comes, and certainly the election, right? Yes. Um, we, uh, w w that's in the past, and now the big question is what's next? A lot of concern would Biden go and really appeal, appease the very progressive side of the Democratic Party, go more centrist. On one hand, Janet Yellen, Maybe closer to the progressive side, but the market knows her. She, uh, she uh, I think, did in some ways an exceptional job uh, leading the Fed. Right. Uh, so her at the top of the Treasury gives people a lot of clarity. No doubt. And you know what's intriguing, uh, Dave, is that when she came in, too, folks, you got to remember that was in the crash. You know, so now, you know, we get the COVID. So, uh, you know, it, there's no doubt. So let's, let, you know, and folks, um, you know, you're on the website. You see the direction banner. If you, you, know, you have an interest in the ETF market, the mutual fund market, you can just hit the banner. You can bring it up. We, we happen to you know, trade the leverage ETFs quite a bit. Um, so we're going to talk about the leverage ETF because you know, you've been doing a lot of work, Dave, you know, having a lot of new ETFs in, in, the, in the single space and the double space. Um, and it's intriguing because as the market progresses and you know we have so many new traders it, it seems like there's a whole new generation of traders now and can you talk a little bit about the like the work from home that you, you we're bringing it down that if you like a sector well guess what you don't just have to you know buy one stock in a sector anymore you can actually buy quite a few stocks in order to say that okay i think from six months from now a year from now that this sector is going to keep going forward you know, you raise a great point. Uh, the, one of the silver linings uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic has been a whole new generation of traders coming into the market. Uh, for years, everyone said retail investors didn't care about investing, didn't care about trading. Uh, well, that's changed. Uh, and I think for the better. More people involved with markets, uh, the better. And what we are seeing is uh, both an uptick and an increase in new traders uh, who maybe have been trading a bit before, but taking a look at our leverage and inverse products. That was what we're best known for, yes. whether uh, it's uh, on the small caps with uh, TZA, TNA, the gold miners, uh, nugget dust, et cetera. Uh, but we also have products that are just one beta products. And what that means is that they're not leveraged. They just uh, take a collection of, of stocks. And in the case of our work from home ETF, ticker WFH, takes a look at the 40 stocks that are helping companies and individuals with this transa transition to having more people work from home. Even if there's a vaccine, we're hearing from CEOs uh, every day, every week, that there's some benefits to having some people in the office, some people at home, giving more people flexibility. So much of this isn't going away. And even if, again, there was a magic vaccine with 100% efficacy that everyone could get tomorrow, I actually do think companies would, would uh, have more folks working remotely. And where, money, where companies are gonna be spending their money is not necessarily on traditional property, plant, and equipment. It's going to be on the cloud. It's going to be on yes. cyber. It's going to be on collaboration tools. Because even if you're in the office with everyone, wouldn't it be great if you can communicate in better ways? And that's what a lot of the technologies uh, in the work, uh, the companies producing them in the work from home ETF are all about. And you know what's amazing? Think about it, folks. You know, in in many companies, even when you're having meetings, there's there's many companies in meetings that you haven't, you know, on a conference call. In the company anyway. So it's, it's, it's kind of intriguing that COVID brought us forward probably 10, 15 years. But we know technology has brought us forward in a huge way. And if you want to keep your people happy and you want to keep them productive, that ride to work and ride from home is a huge savings, man. I mean, it's a huge savings, right? Pretty well, amazing. That's the, that's, that's the whole point. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we saw... Uh, performance wise, we actually saw the work from home ETF dip a bit uh, when we saw this uh, when the vaccine news first came out on the 9th of November. But it's actually recovered nearly all of that in the past few weeks as, again, really positive on the vaccine news. But people, you know, you, you often sell the news and then you take a step back and say, wait a minute, uh, n this doesn't necessarily change this long term acceleration of more productivity, happier employees. 
a younger generation coming into the workplace. I've been doing a lot of work on Generation Z. Man, those guys are going to want the flexibility that comes with remote work. There's no doubt. And folks, the ticker is WFH. It's at $59. It's right at its highs. It's ready to, Correct. to break topside, man. Got to love yep. it. Listen, Dave, it's always great getting a great educational update. You have a great Thanksgiving, safe Thanksgiving. We look forward to speaking in a couple weeks. Thank you. Stay thank, well. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.